Now we want to look at ecosystems in general and apply what we've just learned about food webs to ecosystems. Broadly speaking, an ecosystem is a community of organisms and the non-living environment with which it interacts. This idea that life is part of a system really comes to us from the 30s and 40s. Ideas first proposed by Sir Arthur Tansley, formalized by Ray Lindemann, and really popularized and um, really made more understandable by Eugene Odom, who's arguably the father of ecology. And note how late the field of ecology really got its uh, footing as a field of science, even though a hundred years previous to this, people had been talking about uh, organisms and their environment. Food webs are part of the, the living part of the ecosystems and all the kinds of things that we just talked about the, uh, through the semester, the geological processes, the physical processes, the chemical processes, those are the environmental part of an ecosystem. So the kinds of things that regulate and govern the growth of organisms and food webs are the physical factors in a ecosystem and the organisms themselves, the actual food webs, are the living part of the biological factors in a ecosystem. Now, ecosystems can be named in a lot of different ways. They may be named according to the habitat we find them in, some feature or some process that governs them. And what we want to do right now is look at some examples of different kinds of ecosystems in the world ocean, and particularly ecosystems in the open ocean. We'll talk about coastal ocean ecosystems in our next, in chapter 15, um, when we get to that particular topic. But here we want to look at some of the pelagic or open ocean food webs and take a look at the kinds of things that control their dynamics and also take a look at some of the similarities and differences between these different kinds of ecosystems. In defining an ecosystem we in the ocean we actually take a little bit of a different approach to that which is defined for land. Odom defined an ecosystem as the unit of biological organization sort of the community of organisms interacting with the physical environment. We don't need to spend too much time on that. In my kind of definition, and this may not be any simpler to you, but in the ocean, it's really a continuum of things that change in time and space, the physics, the, chemics, chem the chemistry, the biology, and to some degree, even the geology. That time and space varying physical, chemical, and biological factors support various trophic structures, various food webs with variable flows of energy and matter. And that is kind of a complicated definition, but if you begin to understand that the ocean is a kind of continuum and that the organisms in the ocean react to changes in physical and chemical conditions both in time and space, then you're really beginning to get the essence of oceanography and how the world ocean works as a system.